Hey, how y'all doing? I just wanted to send out this video blog, let you know uh, how things went today. Absolutely amazing, man. You know, um, I mean, from the ride down to Cleveland to, you know, um, meeting new people. Want to shout out to my brother, Alexander Sanford, for this opportunity. Want to shout out to my new sister. Beverly Moore, you know, an amazing worship dancer. That sister is anointed, anointed man. I mean, it was it was to the point where the conversation, you know, all the way up to Cleveland was all about God and you know just different things that we feel shifting in our lives and in the atmosphere. And uh, it was a blessing. It was a blessing. Um, we got here with just enough time to to go and get dressed for the event and um you know i had been charged up before i even got to the place so i'm like let's go whatever we gotta do let's go i'm ready you know um i told <laughs> i told alex i said all i could hear in the back of my head is the <laughs> air of the night by by phil collins <laughs> Like, I've been waiting on this moment all my life, man, you know. Um, we got there to the church, and I didn't realize who all was going to be there, but I got an opportunity to talk to Bishop Eric Lloyd, an amazing man of God, you know. Um, Demita Haddon was there, which I wasn't even expecting. She opened the, the event, and I'm like, this is this is crazy. This is crazy, man. Um I had an opportunity to meet Michael McDaniel, who was an, an amazing person. Funny. I can't tell you how many people he was taxing. <laughs> Just straight at him during the show. If you did something out of pocket or anything that he thought was funny, oh, he was going to run with it, man. It was amazing. Had me rolling the whole time. Um, the most memorable moments of the night was... Realizing that Demita Haddon was going to be there and she was actually opening the show. That was big for me. You know, um, also before the show started, we were uh, we were privileged to go behind the scenes. And I saw Lexi when she was, you know, getting her hair done, getting whipped. You know what I'm saying? And uh, she was real cool. She was real cool, man. Down to earth. Down to earth. And, uh... I didn't really know what to say, man. I just stood there because I'm still in awe, even right now. Like I can't believe this just happened, you know. Uh, that was one of the, the moments that stood out. One of the things that happened, though, was um, I forgot to sign my release form when I got there. So they kept pushing me back, pushing me back, pushing me back. And uh, I wound up being the last person to minister on Fresh Fire tonight for the Word Network, which was cool because the more people went up, you know, the more I became, you know, uh, less and less nervous, really, man, because I, I just kept continuing to tell myself, like, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And um, there was some funny stuff going on, too. Y'all going to see it. It's airing in uh, September. I don't know the exact date, but I'll get the information from uh, the Word Network staff, and uh, I'll let you guys know as soon as I possibly can. But uh, when I went on, you know, I was just like, man, I, I gotta, I gotta put one hundred percent into this, you know. And from the moment that I got up, people was on their feet, man. I mean, showing mad love, all praise due to God. You know, all praise due to God, man. People was on their feet showing mad love. And, um, you know, I was doing the different camera shots and, you know, just into it, man. And it was it was phenomenal. It was phenomenal. Then uh, I told them at the end, I said, hey, cut, cut, the, cut the song off because I wanted to do a third verse. And my third verse was my testimony. You know what I'm saying? My third verse was my testimony. You know about the different things that God has has brought me out of, and uh, yeah, man, it was it it was it was nuts. It, it, it was nuts, man, because you know uh, 
I did it a cappella. I didn't do it, you know, with no music. So I did my thing. I got up there and spoke my testimony, and it got to the point where I said this line. I said, um, this time right here is appointed. You can copy my flow, but can't copy my anointing. All I heard was, oh. <laughs> A beautiful feeling, man. You know what I'm saying? That's something that you said actually caught people's attention. Um, one of the things that really stood out was Lexi was in the front, like, dancing to the music, man. Like, getting it in, man. Like, yeah. That's what, like, that, that was a blessing. Uh, Michael McDaniel, you know, he uh, later on came and told me, you know what? You really blessed me with your ministry, man. And, I mean... I, I watch these people every week, you know what I'm saying, on the Word Network. Because, uh, you know, I always watch the Word Network. And just to be there with them and for Mike to tell me that my ministry blessed him, is, that's a blessing within itself. I got a chance uh, to minister in front of Bishop Eric Lloyd. And once I got done, you know, once I got off stage, he was one of the first people to come and congratulate me for doing a good job. You know, and uh, the way he did it was funny though, because when I got off stage, all I heard was, "Ooh wee!" <laughs> <laughs> That's all I heard, man. He was just like, "Ooh wee!" And he was like, "We got to get you in Detroit, Doc." <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah, let me know, man. I'm I'm there. I got an opportunity to do a." a an interview with the Word Network, you know what I mean? Um, I, I got a chance to talk to different radio personnel while I was there. They invited me out to do interviews, man. So, uh, you know, it's it's a blessing. It's humbling to know because six years this time, you know, six years ago this time, I was in, I was in the prison cell, man, you know. No freedom, you know what I'm saying? I had freedom with them, but I didn't have physical freedom, you know? And just to see how far God can, can take you, when you really trust in Him and believe that He can do exceedingly and abundantly above all things that you could ever ask or think, you know? Um, There's a lot of people interested in, in living proof. I'll just put it like that, you know? Because you got to think, the material that I did tonight is almost three years old, you know what I'm saying? But to see that it can still move people, that's that's what it's about, man. You know, um, if it's not about souls, then it ain't about nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, ministry, ministry is primary. Music is secondary. You know what I'm saying? And for all of the artists that want to do the same thing, I want to encourage you, man, you know, to know that it's more than music. It's about the message. It's about the content of your heart, man. You know, for real. That's more than the fame, more than the money, man, more than anything else. I ask God on a continuous basis, like, God, keep my heart pure. You know what I'm saying? Because you can touch more people like that when your heart is pure and your motives are right. I'm not just doing this to be seen. Anybody that really know me know... I'm laid back, man. I really don't care about doing stuff like this. I'd rather be behind the scenes somewhere in the cut like a band-aid. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, this is what God has called me to do. It's a part of my it's a part of my destiny, man. You know. And I don't know why God chose me, but I'm I'm glad he did. You know. And I wanna thank everybody that's uh been rocking with me on Facebook. I haven't got this many hits ever in life, ever. But, you know, I want to thank everybody. I, I can't name everybody, but I just want to say thank you for all of my Facebook friends, all of my Twitter followers, everybody that's been hitting up my Reverb Nation page, www.reverbnation.com forward slash uh, number sign exclamation point forward slash DH. You know, I know it's long, but just rewind it until you get it right. Um... <laughs> Man, you know, it's amazing. It's amazing. And if you're not on the DH Music page, make sure you go and be a part of that so that way we can keep up with each other and I can let you know what's going on. Uh, I can't really go into detail right now, but all I'll say is I'll be moving.